On today's show, Tesla publishes its first quarter 2019 financials, Ford invests in Rivian to the tune of $500 million, and both the Nissan Leaf and the Tesla Model 3 are finally coming to New Zealand. These stories and more coming next. This is Ecotricity's Ecotech Roundup show from New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity company. We're 100% Kiwi and 50% community owned. Switch today at ecotricity.co.nz. Hi everyone, welcome to episode 90 of Ecotech. Yep, I can't believe we're nearly at our century. <laughs> Best batting record yet. But before we get too excited, let's focus on today's roundup in the world of clean cars. Today's show is a little Tesla heavy, but that's because there's been a lot going on this week at Tesla. First off, the company released its first quarter financials for the year. They show Tesla made a loss of $702 million for the quarter due to a pretty large drop in sales caused by a multitude of reasons we don't have time to go into here, vehicles being in transit at quarter's end, continued heavy investment in vehicle production tweaks and development, and the payment of $920 million in convertible notes which matured during the quarter. Tesla also confirmed start of production for the Tesla Semi will be pushed back to 2020. Following on from weeks of speculation over which automakers were interested in investing, Rivian has confirmed that it was getting a $500 million investment from Ford this week. As part of this investment deal, Rivian will partner with Ford to develop an all-new battery electric vehicle for the Ford family. While neither company said what that would be, I guess we're talking about pickups, although I may be wrong because Ford did say that it will continue working on its own all-electric Ford F-150, so any new vehicle would be an addition to this model. Are you a Tesla fan in countries like the UK, Australia, Japan, New Zealand, and of course the autonomous territory of Hong Kong, where cars have their steering wheels on the right-hand side of the vehicle? Well, it's time to rejoice. The Tesla Model 3 is coming to you very soon. The news is broken midweek by Elon Musk, who confirmed on Twitter that Tesla would be opening its order books for right-hand drive Model 3s in the UK next week, followed shortly afterwards by Japan, Australia, New Zealand and Hong Kong. Sadly, there's no mention right now of Ireland, South Africa, India or any other country that drives on the left with a steering wheel on the right. Sorry. BMW has officially announced it's inked two new deals to source the cobalt it uses in its electric car battery packs direct from mines in Australia and Morocco. This, the company says, is to ensure that any cobalt it uses is not mined using child labour. The company had previously purchased cobalt from mines in the DRC, but says the new deals will ensure it has no part in unethical practices. The announcement comes at the same time as a new initiative at the London Metal Exchange, which aims to delist or ban brands that use irresponsibly sourced materials. Ahead of its quarterly earnings report this week, Tesla held its first Investor Autonomy Day, at which it gave investors and analysts a chance to see and hear up close what Tesla's vision for full autonomy is. Three in-depth presentations on Tesla's third-generation autopilot hardware and software were given, and Tesla confirmed that autopilot Gen 3 hardware is now going into all of its vehicles. By this time next year, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said he believed Tesla would have its first fully autonomous cars in operation, pending regulatory approval, alongside a new robo-taxi service that he said would have a very low cost of operation indeed. It's been on sale for a while in the US and recently nabbed both European and World Car of the Year awards, but Jaguar's all-electric I-Pace SUV isn't selling very well. According to figures from Automotive News, Jaguar has barely sold 1,000 examples since the car went on sale in the US in October last year. This is in stark contrast to Europe, where many markets are lapping the I-Pace up. The flip side? If you do want a Jaguar I-Pace and you're in the US, Jaguar is offering 0% finance on all I-Pace models at the moment. As any Tesla owner will tell you, getting insurance for a Tesla Model S, X or 3 can be expensive, with many insurers now quoting super expensive rates for Tesla owners. As part of the quarterly earnings call this week, Elon Musk looked to provide some relief to that, announcing Tesla will launch its own insurance products for Tesla owners next month. 
Premiums will be calculated by using data from customers' cars to figure out how safely they drive, how much they drive, where they drive, and when. You might not think of the Evergreen State as being one known for vehicle production, although I should note it's home to Commuter Cars, the company behind the Tango. But this week, Mullen announced it had chosen Washington State as home to the assembly plant for the Mullen Chan 2 K50 sports car, pending regulatory approval, that is. Since the K50 is carbon fibre bodied, the car's composite panels will be shipped from China to Washington State, where they will be mated to the car's body and chassis, making it a US assembled rather than US made vehicle. Not to be outdone, Daimler announced this week that it's chosen my current home city of Portland, Oregon as a location for its electric truck production line. Daimler says its Freightliner EM2 and E Cascadia electric trucks will be produced on a production line across from its main Portland campus. In announcing the new facility, I happened across this picture of the EM2 electric truck taken literally across the street from our production studio here in Portland, Oregon, and I had no idea it was there. Otherwise, we'd have gone and geeked out for a bit. It's official. The Nissan Leaf is heading to Kiwi showrooms this August with a price of 59,990 New Zealand dollars. That price matches that of the Hyundai Ioniq EV, but before you get too excited, I should note that Nissan is just selling one version of the Leaf to Kiwis, the 40 kilowatt hour Leaf with 270k range. It will be loaded up with all the goodies, including intelligent cruise control, lane detection and emergency braking, but no news on if it has ProPilot or not. Full specs come in mid-May, with delivery starting in August. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you'll know that I'm a fan of classic vehicles, especially ones that have been sympathetically converted to battery electric power. And this week I have a new vehicle to lust after. Enter the Zero Labs electric Ford Bronco. Just 150 examples will be made, but Zero Labs will strip each vehicle down and completely restore them mechanically before adding a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack, 330 kilowatts of electric motors, and a promised range of 190 miles. Interestingly too, a five-speed manual transmission will be standard, along with a transfer box. Don't ask the price, because I don't know it. And finally, this week saw the premiere of the Avengers Endgame movie, and of course, that means lots of red carpet action, plus a surprise appearance of the Audi e-tron GT. While the car isn't in production yet, Robert Downey Jr., who of course plays Iron Man in the franchise, turned up to the premiere in the e-tron GT. It's not the first time he's driven it either. He was given a sneak peek earlier this year, and it does seem a fitting vehicle to arrive in given the fact that Iron Man had an R8 e-tron in his personal collection in Iron Man 2. But before you get excited in the comments, please, no spoilers. I've not seen the movie yet. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye for the week. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Tell your friends about the show, spread the word, and if you've got some feedback, then do send it our way. We love hearing from you. Make sure you hit that notification bell too, so you don't miss out on our next episode. And while you're at it, why not make the switch to New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity? Make sure that your home, your business, and your car, if it plugs in, gets running on 100% zero emission electrons. Thanks for joining me. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Kakite. See you next time.